Brian Cook, and I know that you Lotus fans can't get enough. So this league is brought to you by Chris Thomas, wanting to see even more copies of Lotus Field in your daily life. So this is not my deck list. Uh, let's just get that out there. This this is Discord user Half Radius's list that they went 4-0 in a modern prelim two weeks ago today. And I am running it back. I did switch sleight of hand for consider because it's kind of a no-brainer. But this is their list. It's not mine. They went 5-0 with five color lotus featuring mana confluence that tie the mana together. I did test white in lotus field combo a few weeks ago. Uh, admittedly, I did not test mana confluence, so that is something unique. But I wasn't a super big fan. Let's see if that opinion changes today. I, I ran four copies of Prismatic Ending in my 75, but none of them were main deck. Here we have three copies of Prismatic Ending in the main deck. And if you're unaware, Prismatic Ending is a scalable removal spell from Modern Horizons 2, where you pay X amount of colors and mana, and then remove a permanent with converted mana cost of X. So one white will remove a zero or a one, for example. Um, and it's really its role. It doesn't do a great job at removing Blood Moon for what it's worth but it hits everything else very, very well. Um, and that's the main reason to run white. You also get silence out of the board over Pact Negation. That said, I am a big, big, big advocate of Pact Negation in the deck. I'm a, I just love it. So I don't think I love that change, but once again, not my deck list. And then you do get wear chair to potentially answer two permanents, although I feel like this is a little bit of wishful thinking. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. Uh, I don't love that we only have one searchable black source for our 10 fetch lands, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that this list is fine. I don't think it's bad or anything. Uh, I'm just not so convinced on Prismatic Ending in the main, but who knows? Maybe by the end of this league, I will have changed my attitude. So stick around, find out, and uh, let's enjoy some sweet, sweet Lotus Field content today. And if you love this Lotus Field content, like, comment, and subscribe. All those things are free and easy to do and help support this very channel. And I would appreciate you doing so. Try and hit 6,000 people by New Year's. And if you're not subscribed, you know, help me reach that goal. It would mean a lot to me. I never thought it'd be possible, and we are on our way. So do it. Uh, other than that, we have memberships. You can check out the details. Uh, in the join button next to the subscribe button where you can even get sideboard guides for things like Lotus Heal Combo. It's a popular ask. So join that middle tier, become a member, and get your sideboard guide for Lotus Heal Combo. And then I'm just going to do a quick rundown. We do have donation decks over at theepicstorm.com. So go to theepicstorm.com slash donation decks to see your combo deck featured here on this very YouTube channel. Or if you want to be like Chris Thomas, you can submit somebody else's deck list to be featured so definitely go check out our donation decks. We have card singles and sweet, sweet storm merchandise over at the epicstorm.com slash shop. So go look at that. And then we have our token pack where we have everything from mana to ooze tokens for a progenitor ooze and as well as squirrels versus goblins for Chatterstorm and empty the warns. We've got it all. So definitely go check that out. That's all I have to say. I'll see you in match number one. Let's see how prismatic ending is today. Maybe it's great. And I'll be wrong. Entirely possible. See you there. Welcome to round number one. We are in the middle of revealing our cat companion. And let's kick it off. Our opponent has also revealed the cat. Lovely. Um, this hand seems fine. I did get a little bit excited when I opened it because I thought the mana confluence was a lotus field. Not that good. Uh, but I still think that this is probably worth trying. One nice thing about running Oracle in the main deck is you can actually just use it as a um, a way of, like, use your words, Bryant. You can use it to help find Lotus Field, I guess is what you're trying to, what I'm trying to say here. The downside about this list is you have Prismatic Ending. So in order, if you cast your Lotus, or I'm sorry, your Oracle, and then start to win the game, you don't have a bounce spell in your main deck to hit your own Oracle. Instead, you have to wish for Void Snare, Void Snare your own Oracle, and recast it. So that is how you win. And if it gets exiled, you're forced to win with a progenitor or this cyborg. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. And I like honestly, I just don't think you need both Grape Shot and Oracle. It seems a little bit like overkill to me, but once again, not my deck list. 
And also, I feel like uh, Half Radius might have changed their list in the last two weeks, and this might be out of date. All right, I think we're just going to get rid of that. Try to slow them down a little bit and just pray that they don't have um, Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Mobble them. Goblin Guide. So they are definitely on burn. I thought there was a chance that they could end up being Blue Red Prowess, but just burn. There's the guide. Okay. Wish. Not a card we need right now. Let's keep Draw the wish. That's a wish claw, which I do like. Okay, so we're going to bring ourselves to 11 with this mana confluence. And I believe if we're allowed to untap, we get to do the whole murder the opponent thing. So I'm a big fan of that. Okay, but do we get to untap? We're going to 9 here. Static ending. I think I'm actually going to upkeep activate Wish Claw Talisman so I don't draw that ending. Assuming that I get to do that. No Fire Blast in this format. All right, so let's go get that Lotus Field. And draw Twiddle for turn. Uh, we go to two. And this should be a pretty easy win now. Twiddle. And this is one of those situations where I feel like sometimes people tunnel vision on not having enough cards in Graveyard, but the rest of your hand has cards with text on it, right? So, for example, we don't have 10 cards in our graveyard. This is a turn 3 win. Uh, because while we don't have 10 cards, the other cards in our hand are a part of the combo. And that happens a lot. And I feel like people just forget that. So, don't tunnel vision on silly things. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now we scour. GG. And I'm probably going to break my own rule here and just be silent in a second until our opponent's dead because I don't feel like filling the dead air the whole time uh, while doing it. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so our deck has been milled down to our final two cards here. And what I'm going to do is cast Consider because I can. Of using Tome Scour. The perfect card for milling two. Yes. Now we have no deck and we cast the Stasis Oracle and end the game. Turn three victory. How about that? Overburn. Get out of here, you clown Eidolon deck. Don't ever play that card against me because I will cry. All right. So we probably want this Void Snare. Being able to get a one mana answer is very good. Um, Maybe one explosives. We do have these main, so I'm less sold on that. We can probably board up the discard spells. Maybe keep two in. I don't know if I want to board in Bear Terror. I okay, suppose we could board an Ave though to wreck them. Dodge is like rest in peace too. Yeah, I like this. Do it. All right, up a game over burn featuring five color Lotus Field combo. Sure, it's a hand. So one of the nice things about this uh, hand is it has the potential to be a turn three, which is obviously great, but you're not that far away from winning. Um, so with Wish Claw, we want to get either I think I'm still, I guess that can't get a black sword. There's only one grave, right? So playing that out instead, that's a little bit awkward because we want the card in the graveyard. Uh, but we're only one piece away. So Wish Claw can get Underworld Reach or a Scour depending on our draw. And if you get enough cards in the graveyard, you can use Void Snare to bounce the claw, but that requires a lot of mana. So I'll land off that. 
I almost feel like I don't want to fetch, but I don't know if that's being a coward. I should probably. I think I just need the cards in Graveyard. I'm going to go to 11, and then 9, and then if they go land, bolt, 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 I'm dead, but that requires literal perfects. So, oop, don't play that yet. Uh, this list has two basics, I'm pretty sure. Let's make sure. All right, two basics. Come back, Magic Online. Uh-oh. Minimize you. There we go. Okay. Um, if you got me, you got me. Law. So I think if we drew Breach, it'd honestly be a pretty easy win. Scour would be fine, I think. Another land. Um, I mean, we have the Snare, but... We're dead. I guess I can just play Lotus Field and pass and hope not to die. I feel like it's my only here. Okay. So they're gonna put us to five and they have three cards in hand. It'd have to be wild for us to not be dead here. Okay, so we can no longer win. No route. Alright. Game three. That was a little bit of bad luck. I believe every draw step we had that game was a land. And top of the goblin guides. Uh, so bad beats happen. No need to dwell on that. Let's just focus on getting. Sometimes, uh, in my experience of watching other people play magic, is stuff like that happens to them and then they tilt off and they no longer make good decisions in the post board games. It's just a game of magic. You'll play thousands more in your life. Don't let you know a little bit of bad variance. Day. Just focus on you know, the things that you control. Waiting for them to reveal their cat. Okay, so they've revealed cat. Is this a key? I think so. I mean, this is a weird hand. Um, like, you do have two redraws on the bobble, so. I think it's a keep like you could also hold the bobbles and get really greedy for the ave but if you do that like you you just have to naturally draw the lotus which i feel like is a little bit of a tall ask so we're gonna have to use the first one on ourselves yeah, we definitely don't want that so we're going to just fetch go get the hollowed font then bobble our opponent so a quick thing about uh, the way that this deck is constructed, it's running three blue fetches. Realistically, it should probably have some turns in here just to split it up against the middle. I don't mind the double cantrip draw there. No one drop, and there's Lotus Field. What a draw. All right, so let's start on this Visions. We don't need the bottom boat. I think we're supposed to play the other visions. Don't need. We just need twiddles. So I don't think we're going to be attempting to win next turn, but obviously our draw step. We're going to be removing that from the game. That's for sure. Going. Going. So there is one small uh, improvement of ending over Rep Decay in that specific spot. And it didn't matter because the opponent was tapped out, but ending exiles the creature. So in the green list, destroy gets blanked by the indestructible effect of Voros. Another Lotus Field is nice. Um, I'm at 15. So in theory, I could play Claw. I don't know. 
I'm gonna cast Twitter. Because if I hit a uh, Twiddle this turn, I have a win with uh, Wishclaw getting Plum Scour. And we scored a lot to the bottom. So I was sort of just hoping to get lucky and hit, and I did not. Ah, uh, punished. That, that play might have cost me the game. Because now it's like looking like it's going to be two turns before. Um, I guess if I drew a twiddle off the top, I could. But Wishclaw for twiddle is going to be two turns away. I was thinking hard. Right, they're activating Wooden Foot Hills. Boros Charm. You're at 12. Three cards in hand. Okay. They think we're unlikely to be dead on their next turn. I'm going to play out the Wish Claw, which I probably should have done last turn. And uh, ending was not a good draw. It's worth noting. That uh, we're only running three wish in this list because we're running three main deck prismatic ending. So, if this ending was a wish, it would actually be a lot easier for us to win. Uh, because this wish claw is getting a twiddle effect, and then this could go get tome tower. So, I could fetch to six. Let's uh, go get a twiddle. I have two. A breach. Twiddle. Pretty free to start on removal. And I think we need to consider. Yes, consider. You can remove the bobble. By at least two of them, I suppose. I think I'm supposed to take Maybe not. Uh, this is a tough decision. Also, if this ending was a bounce spell, we would just win. So if it was Wish or the bounce spell, instead of being one of the back endings. I think I'm supposed to put it to the graveyard. The land isn't bad, but there's still an island in the deck. In case I want to fetch. Let's consider again. Yes, put the delta to the graveyard. Consider considers doing work here at least. Getting a little bit nervous about our amount of resources, though. We are very, very low. Um that do. So if I fetch, I can twiddle and discour. Dead to bolt. Or, I'm sorry, I'm dead to double both effect um but i don't know if i have a, another choice so i with this i would go get basic island and that would give me four mana play activate search home scour i mean if you have double three mana, you have an opponent Okay, now we tap for black. Play Wish Claw. Guess we just use all black mana. Now we get Scour. Scour ourselves. And then we have to immediately twiddle. Uh, it's just how the mana worked out. So, Island. Uh, let's remove the. Oh no. Am I really a card short? I'm gonna have to exile my twiddle. Oh no. Um 
I'm gonna have to get lucky here. Power. Hey, come on, Doc. Be good to me. All right, we had another total effect. Good. Now I can stream script to untap Lotus. And hitting Oracle, I don't think matters because we can always wish for Grape Shot. Power. Um, 16 left. Either removing Oracle or removing the Twiddle effect. I think it's honestly better to remove the Twiddle effect, but I might be crazy here because I don't think we're going to get a high enough storm count to uh, do what I want to do. So I think I'm going to leave back the Oracle. It could cost me the game, but all right, hit another dream script. I just think like it's gonna be really hard. You don't have enough cards in the graveyard or mana floating to wish double grape shot. And that's why I've decided to take the risk there on that hitting a twiddle. So I don't know if I have enough cards to do this. Tower. Because it's going to leave us with one card left. I'm going to dream script. Because if they have a removal spell for Oracle, it's really bad for me. So I have one card. So if I cast Consider and keep it, I wouldn't be able to escape. But if I home scour, yeah, it's not going to work out. Um, I'm dead if they have a removal spell for Oracle. I just want to think about this. Um, if, I scour, if I cast consider, I have to keep the card. So it's like almost better to scour myself. And then I'd have Tome Scour and one other card in Graveyard, and I'm one short of uh, Oracle. Okay. Unfortunately, I came to this. Just didn't have the resources this game. And the concession. So we got the match. How about that? They just didn't have another. Um, Hard. I'll take it. Uh, one zero over burn in match number one. Match number two, and we are once again revealing our Luris, and I will keep this. I mean, if you're going to play five colors, th this mana confluence has not been bad with the main deck endings. So far, it has mana fixed nicely. I will give it that. Oh, we're on the draw. I thought we were on the play. I like went to go play uh, a bobble there and just. Obviously, that didn't work. Humans. I imagine ending is going to be pretty good in the humans matchup. Okay, passing back. Definitely don't want to activate Bobble on our turn, because if they play a Kite Sail Freebooter, we just get punished. Because we have extra cards in our hand, so there's no reason to activate a Bobble on your own. Territory, okay. Wizard. Wizard humans? I believe that this is most likely for um, the Dulkin, whatever. The, what is it called? The Tension Sphere creature. Draw. Draw. And draw for turn. Let's tap this for white. Ouch. Move that. Admittedly, prismatic ending pretty good right there. 
There's the plane we knew about. Critter, most likely. Getting another Elia? It's still a freebooter. So we're going to go get Watery Grave right now and then Inquisition into a Claw. Double Black Spell. So they will have Deputy next turn. This is the Detention Sphere creature I was talking about. Um, and honestly, I think I'm okay with that. Like, we have another Wish Claw for them to eat their time with. So, like, they're going to take up their entire turn to play a creature with one power. I'm fine with that. And if not, they're dead. So, <laughs> we have that going on for us. Ancient Ziggurat. That is not the sign clearing that we talked about. There it is. 1 to 14. Next turn, they could play Manus Rider into Thalia's Lieutenant, which is quite a bit of damage. Power is not bad. Turn 4. So I could Visions into that, which is another card in the graveyard. And then it's an extra life. So assuming that they do play Manus Rider into Thalia's Lieutenant, it's four in play plus four it's eight that is not lethal we can put that on top vision go we'll get the other island no need to deal ourselves extra damage and play the other claw all right we are a lotus field away from doing the uh the murdering the opponent and uh big fan of winning the Losing the game, not a fan. I only like one. There is silent clearing. We know two of the three. Here comes Tennis Rider. Thalia's Lieutenant? Hey, the, the Thalia we don't care about. Ouch. Oh yeah, not a human, so it's only seven, not eight. Just how words work. And uh yeah. Alright, so let's go get the Lotus Field. Don't accidentally click on Mana Confluence because it is a gold land. That would be bad. Go to four. I'm gonna sacrifice this. Get that out of play. Only one gold land belongs in play at a time. Sorry. That for blue because we have a red floating. Okay, we already have the Tome Scour because we're super lucky and uh, easy game. Tap this. And they did the nice thing and conceded. Thank you, opponent. You're beautiful. All right. So definitely want this Void Snare. Probably the truth. I think Grave Shot's probably better than Oracle in this matchup. I don't actually love Inquisition here. And the reason why is like they're not investing any of their mana, which makes it a little bit awkward. So I'm, I don't love it. It looks like we have to leave one card on the board. Probably the fourth ending then. Let's try this out. You could board in Ave as well, but in my experience, uh, humans will find a way to go over you one way or another. So I'm, I'm not as hot on Ave in the matchup. Like I, sometimes I'll board it in, but not all the time. You could also possibly remove Serum Visions and just play less um, ways of interacting. I don't mind that if you really want to keep in Inquisition, which is another thing you but I found that most of the time that you win, it's just you you find your Lotus Field, you play a key removal spell on one of the threats, and then 
come back later. So I don't want to have a deck that's all just discard spells and um, removal. Like, you're just not going to be very consistent. Sure. Just have to find field. And by not boarding an eighth, you do get to have Lurus into EE. But that's a very late game play where if you're in that kind of position, um, kind of wild one. Start off on Bobble. I don't know how I feel about potentially removing this vial or not when I have E hand. Makes me feel a little bit better about removing it. Because if they get stuck on mana, they won't ever be able to use it. Get out of here. Go home either while you're drunk. Another EE. I didn't want that. Too many. Both on human this. And Athalia. Oh, Sanctifier, sure. People don't realize this is like the worst tape you can play against us. We can easily win through that. Um, I'm just Yes. Didn't need to shock, but I think I just want to get one of these and play on one. And then I can play the other one on two and just sit on them. Wishclaw, if we find a black source, uh, becomes good. Okay, so we're going to take some painful hits off those, but next turn I can play E and slow them down. They missed the third land. We found ours, uh, but I'm still going to play this for two and then just fetch this into play tap. Or is that the coward's move? Hold on. So if I go to... And play Wish Claw. I guess I need the E for two in play, or else the Wish gets exiled and I should back up. Yeah. All right. And I will pass. Not to. Shredder. Taking five down to eight. What? Kind of annoying. I guess I could, in theory, try to twiddle their land and their upkeep. Try to further prevent them from ever playing um, that. I don't know what the right play is here. It does give me a little bit of info to see if they'll have a land on top. Alia. Yikes. Um, what do you do here? Okay, so... I have to leave up twiddling uh, a creature. Or else I'm dead. So, I allow that to happen. I feel like this was a really greedy play from me. Yeah, I'm not dead to this. Unless they have a one drop. Ah, oh, why did I open up my mouth? I know, that doesn't change anything. Yeah, that was not a good lineup on Sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna go to one here. I find a win. Not a good one. Um I feel like I'm short on reason. So what I can do is Tap Hollowed Fountain, search up Lotus Field, float two mana, activate Claw, whittle up to four mana, 
Four mana wins, right? No, because the first never mind, that's not true. My bad. Um sorry, I can't use the same wish block to do both things. So I guess what I'm supposed to do is play here. I think I'm just dead. We needed like a twiddle or something here. Or even a breach would have done it. Maybe I'm missing. Galeris. Try to get game. This seems fun. A lot of uh, opening hand bobbles so far. Let's uh, bobble ourselves to see if we want to fetch away the card. Do not need a third effect so i'm going to fetch and i think the black source is most likely the most important one so i'm going to do that and then cast it obviously spry into double prismatic ending i think i need to get rid of those now bobble in the upkeep yikes Fourth twiddle. Fifth twiddle. Love it. Perfect. Gonna have asked for better draws. <sighs> uh, these games have been so unbalanced with our draws, but like that's magic sometimes. And we are playing a format without powder and brainstorm. Can't be too upset. What are you naming up? What a joke, I have four dream scripts in hand. Okay, so now we just want to find something. The wish would allow us to make a huge cave. And our opponent does have an image, so if they name Metal Image, they're probably naming dream script on this. Thing. There's the image. Prismatic ending. So I can actually kill this with one of the dream scripts if I want to. That's vision. Is that a win? So three, five, seven, nine, eleven mana. I believe what I can do is I could wish for, or I can wish claw for wish for Ave, which is 11. But I think more realistically, what I should be looking at is untapping my, and this line almost never comes up, by the way, almost never, is holding priority and untapping wish claw to search for two cards. Like, it's so rare that this actually comes up. So now I get Underworld Breach Scour. There's the Scour. Now we untap. Now we add red. James Twiddle has four Dream Scripts in hand. <laughs> Drum Scour. <laughs> Ah, uh, kill game. We just have to go through the motion. Our opponent's saying good games. Good games, opponent. They're, our opponent's saying that maybe instead of naming Twiddle, they should have named Breach, which is a fair assessment from their perspective. What they don't know is if I had Twiddle available, uh, we had six cards in hand, it would have become eight aves so i don't know if they can beat that i guess they do have um three lands and they have the deputy so i guess their list if they had deputy still in post board um, they could get me that way so i guess they weren't dead to aves 
But we got the match. We're 2-0 over humans. Um, pretty cool stuff. Stick around for match number three. Let's keep the streak alive. We are 2-0 going into match number three. I've already revealed Luris. We have Wishclaw. We have two lands. We have Lotus Field. What more could you want? Really? Just we have it all. Uh, except for, you know, more wins. Let's try to get that. Okay, what are you playing, opponent? Is it Tempo? Okay. Going and okay. Certainly helps with Delirium. Amber's gonna play her own Bobble, land in S. They're casting Visions. I'm wondering if I should uh, shock into Wishclaw, getting our Watery Grave. Shockingly, they don't. Uh, they can fetch here and make it a 3 3. They're just missing land. <laughs> I guess they really want the card on top. I'm going to get the Watery Grave. Go to 6. Let's cast this. Get blown up by main deck surgical now. Bags. Okay. Apparently Ragavan is not worth extra or is worth more than extra damage against me. Got the claw. Boom. Next turn we can play uh Inquisition, consider Lotus Field. Do they have their one of spell peers? Like it. Get rocked. We do have another wish claw, it's not the end of the world. Spell Pierce is typically a one of. Uh, I don't know if it's actually one of in their list, but most lists, if they play any, play one. They had another Ragavan. All right, so we're going to fall to 10 here. This is one of the downsides of playing um, discard in your decks nowadays. Your opponent's Ragavan's going to hurt you. Be interesting to see what they take here. If they want, they could take Inquisition because the Ragavan's going to return to their hand. Or they could take Claw to stop me from getting Breach. Part of the issue with where we're at currently is I need both a Breach and Twiddle and Scour, so we need a lot to win. One. Okay. Scour's not that good. Sure. Okay, we're getting very lucky right now. Uh, we need to find a twiddle, and then we have it all. I can't believe we went into that turn needing three things, and now all of a sudden we just need a, a twiddle, which is the easiest of them. But uh, if we can get a little bit lucky. Come on, scour me. Scour me. Uh, shocker, they targeted themselves. No counter. Like a Merc Tide. And if it is Merc Tide, that means they're threatening removal. So assuming that our opponent does play Merc Tide. <coughs> excuse me. Um what I can do that is a giant Merc Tide. Okay. So what I can do is I can play Steam Vents and then play Underworld Breach. And then I can play Trum Scour. I have to get really lucky, but we have five hits on a twiddle effect. Um, and that looks like it needs to be our line. I'm at five. It has to be in the top five cards, but if we hit a twiddle, we have eight twiddles, 40 cards, 41 cards. Uh, but, you know, it's not super improbable with five books off this tome. Or that's what I'm trying to say. On deck. We hit Twiddle. GG. Boom. Love it.
I like to leave a little bit of extra mana floating if I can afford to. Just makes me feel better about possibly misclicking. Okay, now we just do the easy stuff. All right, so I've been quiet for a minute or so. We're almost to the end of uh, our combo here. We have 11 cards left in deck, so I can go to zero by casting this vision. Get low. Probably just do it now. That's going to bring us to exactly zero cards in deck. Which will beat the... Um, Unholy heat left in there. Tower. So the way that it beats unholy heat is unholy heat will kill our oracle, but we're going to have uh, no cards in deck, which means that the devotion is zero, and I just went and the unholy heat just doesn't do it. You got it. And if we needed to, we, our graveyard is still flush full of cards. We could Dream's Grip into Oracle again, but it's not going to matter if you win the game. All right. Dave coming in. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to board out Visions. I'm still not sure if I like Consider or Visions as the cantrip you leave in. I think Consider is a lot better when you need to be fast and this is a matchup where speed does matter so i think i like uh consider anyway but in matchups where you have a lot of time and you just need to find lotus field i think serum visions is better than consider right, we're one over at the moment i'm gonna board out a wish Get this out Double ending, no white source. This hand is just really awkward. I would love to keep it, but we just need to chip. Okay. Bottom minute, I guess. I don't love this hand. One Ragavan. Get it off the board. And pass, love it. Fire off an Inquisition. Our opponent's representing Counterspell right now, so I'm not quite convinced that this is going to resolve. If they do Counterspell it, I'm going to fetch Shock, and then I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, so this beats if our opponent's like hiding Blood Moon. It is very painful though, we're already at 50. Counter spell this beautiful guide. Um, I can beat Soul Guide with the Ave in my I think I want to take the dispute because Counter Spell forces them to leave up more mana every turn. In theory, we could cast Ave off Mana Confluence uh, with enough twiddles. You would need like five lands. Uh, and then a bunch of twiddles to do it. But in theory, you could twiddle Mana Confluence a bunch in the eight, which is... Ooh. So they might have drawn a charm if that was their play. Just like Shock Vents, I think, means Archmage's charm. Or something. We got it. With the soul guide in their hand, I can't help but wonder if they should be targeting me, hoping to hit like Oracle or something. But maybe they just want to play a giant merc. The soul guide. Got it. Let's consider. I'm going to keep it. Oh no, I guess it's too late. Um, I wanted to keep it. <laughs> uh, geez. 
I think this wish is going to eat the counter spell some of the And if it resolves, I can just cast her. Going to go get Island here and just cast her. So the counter spell's gone. I don't know any of the cards left in our opponent. Uh oh. Here comes a big dragon. That's going to raise raise my ooze. All right, I think we're probably dead now. Draw. All right, game three. Her draw just never came together that game. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset. Good hand. Okay, so we're going to search up Watery Grave, bobble our opponent for information, and then cast Inquisition so that way we even get to another draw. Probably one eye. They're drawing a canal. Take the Ragavan. Turn two, we're going to play out Wish Claw. I don't hate the Dream Script draw. Is it Visions or is it Channeler? Channeler. Draw. Also a decent. Need to draw Breach or Scour. I guess wish would do that. We've used a pair of turns. Now the vision. So this is going to give them sorcery, and the dragon rage channeler will be delirious. A little bit awkward. Um. I feel like I'm going to look at a hand of four lands right now. Yep. What a dummy. Okay, so let's play the E for one. We might be able to use it to buy some. There's no point in just giving them a claw and passing. That's not a line we want to do. So uh, if you're thinking that was the play, what do you do after that? Like you gave them a tutor. For their soul guide lantern or their merc tide meanwhile you got to land with no payoffs so i don't think it's the best uh thing to be doing is your draw Eve's not even good here so i guess i could technically a for three Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. So like we need we would have needed our opponent to not have a counter spell. That's step one. Um and like we would get three uses, which isn't even that good. And then we gave them a tutor for Merc Tide. Or just a burn spell to kill us with the Dragon Rage. Okay, well, I guess that's the card that they thought about playing last. So we actually just need a white sword, and we can answer that. Or Lotus Field itself right now, because it taps for a white. But if their last card in their hand is a counter spell, we're just dead. Yep. Uh. All right, let's hope to get lucky here. White. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Ah! Oh. <laughs> they hit runner, runner. I was hoping that it was a land or a burn spell. I think we're just dead. 
your opponent could activate Wishclaw for Murktide, and they'd have theoretical lethal. Um, and then what we could do is we could tap our island, go get Prismatic Ending. That doesn't matter. I guess we have two more endings that we'd want to draw. Guess consider. Yeah. I'm going to put that in the graveyard. So, in theory, this could eventually get Prismatic Ending for Alpine Moon. But I need another land. Maybe it's just not. I'll keep it. All right, so they have two unknowns now. Okay. Um, so I can play Breach and then Breach back Explosive. Or I guess they have the Soul Guide. But like, it's not like this Breach was going to do anything anyway. Like, I can't wish for Prismatic Ending. And so, like, this is almost for play. They don't get to draw a card now. Sort of surprised they haven't used Wishclaw to just, like, go get Merc. Targeted me. That's a clock. Defense. That's actually the red source we would have needed. Uh, but another Lotus Field would actually be perfect color fixing without the life loss. Ding. That was pretty good. Did we just win? I believe we do. Maybe I should have floated green mana in the middle of there somewhere. Because if this gets counterspelled, I just get max punished. Um, that was a misplay on my part. No equital. So I'm just trying to think this through here. So, like, if our opponent for some reason secretly had something in hand. We know that they have a Ragavan and two unknowns. So if I play Wish here, floating one blue, I can scour myself into a win. If they have Spell Pierce, I lose. But there's two Pierces already in the graveyard. So if they have Fluster Storm, which is a card they could have, I get really, really punished. So the question is, can they beat Ave? They have a wish claw, so if they draw a bolt, I'm dead. Um, I think I'm supposed to just play the wish. Power myself. Little. Okay. Power. Gonna remove the uh the wish here. I think you really want to keep a twiddle around if possible. Power. Oh, we're gonna cancel that. Do not target uh watery grave, please. All right, twiddle on Lotus Field. That would have been really embarrassing. Power. Power again. We're scrolling through the motions at this point. There's the Oracle. 13 cards left in deck, so we will need to scour one extra time, unfortunately. Power again. It's going to bring us down to three. Probably Dream Script to untap field. I guess I could wish for grape shot. Hmm. 
three, three. Yeah, that works too. I cast wish. Okay, so they never conceded, which means that they could have something, but like, I don't know what Grape Shot loses to out of blue red that Oracle would beat. Like, if for some reason they had like a cyborg weather the storm or something, I don't know. And we win. So we are now 3 0. Um, not a bad start. Let's see how we can do. I will, will admit. Ending looked pretty good there, twice attempting to remove uh, Alpine Moon. That said, Abrupt Decay never would have been counted, uh, but obviously less mana efficient. So, gives and takes, gives and takes. My opinion so far is sort of mixed on Prismatic Ending, but let's just play the last few, see how I feel at the end. Let's get round number four. We are on the play. Reveal our cat. Great hand. Hard to be mad about that. Uh, yeah. No companion for the opponent. Okay, so we're going to start off with Watery Grave once again. Bobble. And then target the opponent. Okay. So I'm sort of Neo Affinity deck. I think we just take the Metallic Grave. Draw off bobble. The next turn we are playing Wishclaw. Uh, unfortunately, the Esper Sentinel is going to allow them to draw extra cards. But I think it's just like important to not have to be uh, hostage to the Metallic Rebuke all game. I guess I could just like play it slower. I don't hate that. Lotus Hill is actually kind of hard to draw. I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just played Claw. Okay, that was good. All right, I'm going to let them draw a card here. That was a bad decision I made last turn. I should have just won with my plan. There's Citadel. The four cards. We know that they still have Nettle Cyst in hand. That's it. So I don't know the other thing. Another twiddle off the top rope. Has grip and tap. Okay, I'm gonna consider why not. This is the part where I lose to a rebuke that was drawn because I haven't had I haven't been playing this game with a real plan, and I probably deserve. It. Okay, so that resolve. That's good news. Okay, we'll rip again. Why not grip again? There's so many manas. This time add red. Gower. Okay, and we just have to go through the motions. Our opponent is activated resist. Okay. So I think that means that they don't have anything and that we just need to execute. I wonder if I can just like wish for a double grape shot here. I can remove the wish or two. I don't have the mana to do what I wanted to do. So we have six here. You need seven. Yeah. I'm a mana short. Just not worth it. Okay. Keep on scouring. Little on. 
Showcase Tower. Tower again. Now we just need to twiddle until it works. One thing I really dislike about uh, Oracle's The Wing Con is you have to show your opponent your entire deck every time. And while that's like pretty marginal, it's like it's just annoying that they have perfect. All right. I won't lie, in between round three and this round, I went and took ibuprofen. My back is killing me. And uh, if you've been watching this video, you've probably just noticed me squirming, like trying to get comfortable. Getting old sucks. All right, so I want this wear tear. Just boarding into a bunch of permanent heat. Board out the Inquisition. That leaves two bounce. Like, there's so many. Like, this is what I don't like about the list. So, these are like, why do we need nine answers in our deck? Like, it's just so many. Just like a little bit imbalanced, in my opinion. And that's like not including, like, if you wanted to decide an ape to dodge, like, the graveyard. Let's leave, like, Let's do this so that way we have some variety. And then we have some variety for a wish too. Just a little bit of overkill. Like I think that those two slots could be something to improve a different matchup. Sure, this hand's fine. It's sort of weird. Like when I played this deck with 20 lands, people would watch these videos and be like, oh great, Brian kept another one lander, he'd lose. Ever since I went up to 21, it's just, like, not an issue anymore. And I don't know why uh, it's just, like, changed the way that it has. But, like, 21 lands has just been amazing. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, I should have played Bobble. That was dumb. Okay. all right let's play bobble i'm gonna be an idiot and pay the tax but i do get to cast another cantrip after so it's sort of fine needle okay there you go. that was really good don't think we want another twiddle. Do we? Yeah, let's keep it. I'm gonna draw an extra card off Bobble anyway. So the needle's interesting because they can name EE -E and then search up graveyard hate with Chicago. And needle name explosive shocking. And they had relic in hand. Okay. They're still representing a uh, metallic rebuke, by the way. That has not gone away. No an opponent. Sure. We'll remove my mid. Oh. We'll pay the lame tax. The tax for being lame like me. And uh, these are both great. We'll put both on top. Lotus Field. Now their saga is going to fire. So currently they're tapped out of uh, Relic Mana. So that means that they would need a land. Here it is. I think I have a win here. Consider into the push claw. Maybe I shouldn't go for it. So like I, I'm only going for it with a consider. 
So I can remove the relic and just play Claw. The problem is if they have anything else in hand, it gets. So assuming that I go Twiddle Twiddle, Push Claw Breach, I get one luck off consider as a hit. That's just too risky. Remove the relic. At least this saves some mana for next. Saga. Gobble. Three cards in hand. Fairy, which can bounce my wish claw, which is annoying. Yep. Now or never. Twiddle. They do have a Teferi hidden over here. If you have Rebuke, get. Better see if I can get lucky. That's actually a blocker for this con. I mean, if they have removal spell, I'm dead, but. They didn't use Bobble, so they don't get an extra luck. Now they use Bobble. Another Bobble. I will gladly chump block. Bridge. They're going to get two draws in our upkeep. So they're going to have four cards in hand. We, we can't beat a rebuke. If they have one. And I'm going to let them draw off this. I, I can't afford to pay the tax. Well, now we go get Breach. We have a little bit of mana to work with here. I think we probably want to start on a twiddle just to make sure we don't get blown out. It looks like they're F6. I consider. Rip, twiddle, rip. Not a lot of cards here. Uh, does Void Snare do it? So if I keep Void Snare, I can bounce Wish Claw. Going down to one mana floating. Oh shit, did that work? Um, let me think through this one more time. Bounce that one floating. This plays and activates Wish Claw for. That does it. Okay. I'm going to cancel that. Just make sure that I'm targeting the right land. I get a little nervous. Please. Okay, claw. Activate, go get scour. Scour. Well, if they had a rebuke, we opened ourselves up to it, but I think by now they don't. Twiddle. Helen, Lotus Field, and. It's just going through the motions. All right, so we now have one card in our deck and a few mana floating. We just need to make sure we don't lose to a removal spell on Oracle. And we can afford to scour one more time. We could also, like, wish in a grape shot, but I think Oracle's probably a, a tiny bit cleaner. Okay, and just cast the oracle, I guess. Four oh. Wow. All right. So uh doing pretty well. Let's just see if we can get the fifth round and uh finish this league off with a nice five oh. Let's get this five oh. Revealing our cat and uh seeing what happens. So I said that. 
I wasn't going to keep these one land hands earlier on in the video and how great 21 lands has been. Now here we are. Uh, I am going to keep this and then obviously get punished because I jinxed it earlier today. So let's see how it goes. Okay, suspend crashing footfalls. So they're on the footfalls deck. Um, what do they have coming? They're going to have a pretty fast clock this time. Obviously, no lands. Ah, uh, I hate myself. Okay. Bobble. Oh. There we go. We're just going to jam a wish claw here. I guess I could play it a little bit slower. Do we need this wish claw to resolve? If they just have like a counter spell, it really hurts. Reason borrower, so it would have gone bounced in. Need them to not hit land. <laughs> Visions. Wow, that was good. Um, we have a win next turn now. I think we do. That's five in graveyard, seven with the two lands, two grips. Uh, yeah, I think we have it. They missed. Just want to think. So, twiddle twiddle six. They breach and then use wish claw instead of escaping to go get to home. I believe that does it. They would have had a one turn window to hit. So I'm just going to hope that they didn't. This deck can be so good sometimes. Ever is it a break borrower? Or another borrower. Um, does that matter? I don't know if it does. It does, because I can't breach plus um rip. So let's just play consider here. Yes, put that to the green card. I am so lucky. I am so lucky. That's my I'm so lucky. Yes. Uh yeah. Okay. Bobble Visions. And now we just use Wish Claw to go get Scour. Probably should have just used Triple Black and left a red floating. A little bit of a mistake there. And it's deterministic. They did the nice thing and conceded. Thank you, opponent. Uh, so we've got game number one. We are one game away from a 5-0. It's the Rhinos deck. I really like E. But we're definitely boarding in both of those. I've had mixed experience with boarding in Ave here. I've had to be really good, but I've also had to be like bad. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I might just do E and then like Truth. In Void Snare because they bounce Blood Moon and Blood Moon's a card they often board in. Maybe get rid of these ending. Like what? I don't hate that. I also board in the Silence. Yeah, I think I like that because they're also an Endurance deck and Silence cuts that down. Let's go. Yolaris. One is taking a mulligan. Reading full suspend football. Yeah. And uh, we get to do the classic bobble you, discard you. Bubble. 
to the land. Get that force out of here. We draw a bobble. Do another bobble. I want to see what land they play because if they don't play the Wood of Twilight Hills, I can bobble them and see what they draw. Now I get to see their next draw off the bobble. Reason borrowers are a little bit annoying. This. I just have to play the Wish Claw, I think. Balls, which is going to unsuspend next turn. They played Agent. Wow. The disrespect. Yeah, you got it. Give me a twiddle. Give me a twiddle. To punish you for not bouncing my wish claw. Twiddle. Or or lotus. Twiddle or lotus. Twiddle or lotus. Nope. Not very nice. Um know that they have The problem is if I give them wish claw. They can just search up, um, what is it called? Blood Moon. So I just lose the game. So I don't want to do that. I think I'm supposed to discard their, uh, their Brazen Borrower here. Pass. Hold back the E because their Rhinos are about to unsuspend. They have a... Balan Outburst, they're about to draw. I might be able to kill six Rhinos with this. I guess there's one more turn on it? Okay. So this line doesn't matter because they're going to have more Rhinos next turn. Although I suppose the E could buy me one more turn. That doesn't do anything. Um... So they're still going to have a Charless Agent in play. Unfortunately, I just can't win. So I'm dead to stomp off the top. I need to draw Twiddle or Lotus very badly. How many are in? So Twiddle or Lotus Field is really what we're looking for here. I would really like to not die to Charlotte's Age. Okay. Come on, Doc, please. Um, it doesn't do it. So we can active use Island, activate Wish Claw, go get Lotus, Twiddle Lotus. Uh, but we don't have. We need one more mana to breach plus Lotus again. Or short of mana. Kind of a bummer, but we need to go to game three. Uh, I should look at what they exile. They have Force of Vigor in their board uh, that they sided in. They have Endurance. Blood Moon. Looks like two moons. Common Deer. You know what that is? Oh, it's Fire Ice. All right. So. It happens. I'm not gonna get too upset about that. Let's just focus on game three. Okay, we are on the play. Reveal cat. Seems fun. I'm going to try to not play our play out our island because we have to sacrifice uh lands to the Lotus Field, and if our, if we're going to get Blood Mooned, I don't want to sacrifice our basic. Solid Fountain. Draw. Thanks. Purposely didn't play out the Steam Vents there. I want their Watery Grave in play in case we draw Wish Claw Talisman. But also, if something bad were to happen, I still have the steam vents to uh, order terror for ending. 
think I'm just going to not play out the Lotus Field in case I like have the turn for Blood Moon. Looking like they might have a Blood Moon here. <laughs> well, that's not a red sword. That is a Shadow. Oh, I didn't want another land. Come on, Doc. Let's consider. Oh, oh, I wanted to play Lotus Field. That was dumb. I have not played this well. So when I fetch with this Flooded Strand, it's going to remove the last fetchable from the deck. We still have seven cards in hand. So Force of Vigor, Force of Negation, uh, Brazen Bar. Like, they have so many cards. Endurance that stop us here. There are way too many lands. Last game, we were begging for a land. This game, all lands. Well, we are not meeting that. So unfortunately, uh, we finished this league four and one. A little bit of bad luck in game two this round, but that happens. I'm four one still fine. Uh, so my honest opinion, I don't like the main deck win con right now. I just don't think it's necessary. There's a few times where we had the oracle where it was just fine, uh, but it could be a live card. The endings were fine. Like, I think Ending's a terrific card. I just don't know if it's worth splashing white for. Uh, the Mana Confluences were okay. They weren't awful. Um, I didn't like only having one Watery Grave, personally. I felt like that was kind of awkward. And uh, with having the Prismatic Endings in the main deck, there was a few times where, like, if they were a Bounce Spell or a Wish, things would have been slightly better. That said, there was also a few times where they were very good. So it's tough to say how I feel overall. Um... I honestly don't know how I feel about this list. I missed having packed in both the main deck and the board, but I don't know. This list is fine. I don't think it's bad. Um, it certainly has potential. Like Prismatic Ending is a very fine card. We were fortunate that our uh, blue red opponent had Alpine Moon and not Blood Moon because Blood Moon's been a little bit more popular recently, and Ending can't touch that card. So did get lucky there, but. I don't have strong opinions. So if you have strong opinions or thoughts, feel free to put those in the comment section down below. Still fairly happy with the 4-1. Thank you for watching. Keep storming and have a great day. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.